So come to a kneeling position or any comfortable seated position. Take your shoulders up to your ears, roll them back and then down and then forward. Up to your ears, back, down, forwards. And once more, just exploring the range of motion in your shoulders and then circling them around in both directions. Taking your hands to prayer position, sweeping them out to the sides and up to the sky and back to the chest. And while you do this, do that again, but keep an awareness of your core. So keep your belly tucked in so that this rotation in the shoulders is happening from the shoulders and not the lower spine. And then we'll go in the other direction. So from hands to prayer position, lift them up to the sky and sweep them around. So breathe in, lift up to the sky, breathe out, sweep the arms around and back to prayer position. Once more, keeping the belly tucked in so the movements in the shoulders. And then leaning forward, take your hands in front of you into an extended child's pose. Just stretching out under the arms. And then walk the hands over to your right. Both hands and see if you can keep both shoulders down. Just check in that both shoulders are equally close towards the floor. Come back to the centre and then walk the hands over to the left. Once again, keeping both shoulders the same distance from the floor. Come back to the centre, extended child, and breathing in and coming up. And now we'll do some cat-cow movements, but from a kneeling. So as you breathe out, roll the spine, extend the shoulders away from each other. And as you breathe in, taking the hands back in space, lifting the chest to the sky. So breathing out, rounding the back, separating the shoulder blades. And as you breathe in, take the hands behind you, extend the chest to the sky. Come back to the center. Breathe in, elongate the spine. So lift the chest towards the ceiling and then take a twist to the left. And just allow the hands to guide you into the twist. So there's no pulling. Breathing in back to center, breathing out over to the other side. So one hand can rest on the outside of the knee. The other's fingertips can touch on the floor, or they don't have to, that's fine. I'm into cat position now, so shoulders over the wrists. And we're just going to explore the range of movement in the shoulders here. So as you move, feel that you can go from separating your shoulder blades as far as possible behind your back, and then squeezing them together behind your back. The core is tucked in here, so the only movement that's happening is in the shoulder blades. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then separate them. And then let's go for some more conventional cat-cow movements. So allowing the rest of the spine to come to play. But still keep the awareness in the shoulder blades. So yes, the rest of the spine is moving. But feel that as you breathe out, you can really separate the shoulder blades. And as you breathe in, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together behind your back. Make this session about your shoulders. Be really aware of what's happening. The tailbone and the neck just join the party. And now we're going to come back to cat, thread the needle. So take your right hand underneath your body and then come up and lift it, the hand up to the sky. So we're going to do that five times on each side. So as you breathe out, the shoulder comes down towards the floor as you thread the needle. And as you breathe in, lift that hand up to the sky. And because the knees stay in contact with the floor, the movement in the hips here is limited. So we're aiming for the most movement that you can get in the shoulders. Really feel that your shoulders can add to this movement. So five times on each side. And then back into cat. Walk the hands away. As far as possible, keep your hips over your knees. We're coming into puppy pose. Do this mindfully, especially if you're readily flexible in the shoulders. Keep your belly tucked in to protect your lower back. So this isn't about a lumbar stretch. This is about opening in the upper back and the under the armpits. So if you feel this in the lumbar spine, then just come back up, active hands, active arms, draw the belly in and then sink. If this feels easy for you, go for an active puppy where you're really drawing belly in 
but keep lowering the armpits down to the floor. Then come back into cat. Grab hold of a belt. If you have a belt, feel free to pause the video and grab a belt, a yoga strap or a belt or a tie is fine. Take the heart, hands a good distance apart on the belt and circle the shoulders around. And let's aim to do this 10 times. And each time as you feel that you feel a bit more comfortable, you can walk the hands in towards each other. But be mindful that both arms are straight. You're actively pulling on the belt. And once again, your lower ribs and your belly are tucked in. So this movement is in your shoulders and not in your spine. It's better to have the hands wider apart. If that helps. And then we're going to grab a block and hold the block wide and squeeze the block with your hands and take your arms out in front of you. And then we're going to lift them up to 45 degrees. We're just taking one breath in each position, take them up to the sky, keep as much as possible, keep squeezing that block. And then take your elbows in and take, bend your elbows and take the block down to your upper back. And then come out in reverse. So squeezing the elbows in all the time, lift the block up to the sky, then 45 degrees and then back to the start. And if you have two blocks, that's great, use two blocks. You can rest on anything here. The important thing is to be able to create space between the blocks so you can rest your head in between. We're gonna take one elbow to each block, lower your head down in between the blocks so that you can reach prayer position with your hands behind your head and perhaps take your hands back to your upper back, allowing your armpits to sink down to the floor. Just as with puppy pose here, you can make this much more active by squeezing the belly in, keeping the core strong and then sinking the armpits down. Good, breathing in and coming up, getting rid of your blocks to one side. Coming back into cat. And this time place your forearms on the floor. So put your elbows where your hands were. To coming into forearm cat, checking in with your shoulder position again. So just try a couple of those scapula movements once more and find a neutral position where you're feeling strong. Take your right leg out behind you, so straighten that leg and come onto one forearm. So we're coming onto your left forearm, strong, so push away with the shoulder and lift the other arm up to the sky. And then back to a forearm cat. Take your left leg out, so the leg's straight, push through your right shoulder and lift the left hand up to the sky. So it's a modified side plank in the forearm. Come back to forearm cat, check in with those shoulders again, make sure you're strong in the shoulders. And if that was okay, come into forearm plank. So extend one leg and then the other. Remember to keep your belly in. Rock over onto one side, so forearm plank now. Important thing here is to keep pushing away up through that shoulder. If that feels okay, you can either hold it there, so the other hand's up to the sky, or you can do some of these hip dips. So just lowering the hips up and down, just to build that strength in the shoulders. And then we'll come to the other side. So come back to forearm plank, and then roll over onto the other side. Lift the other hand up to the sky, push through that grounded shoulder. And if that feels okay, maybe three hip dips here and feel what happens in your shoulders, they're really strong. Come back to forearm plank and lower the body all the way down to the floor. Take the arms out to the side with the elbows bent so you're in a kind of cactus shape and lift the arms up first and then lift the chest. So we're coming into a modified cobra, active through the upper back and if you want to you can keep the hands there or you can take them back behind you, interlace the fingers and drive the fingers back towards the feet, really squeeze those shoulder blades together to lift the chest a bit higher. And then resting down on the floor. Just taking a few breaths here. And taking your arms out to the side. Coming back into those cactus arms, so elbow in line with shoulder. 
Take your left, come up on your left fingertips and lift up on that side. So we're lifting the left shoulder off the floor but keeping the right armpit down. You can accentuate this by taking the leg over and back or you can just keep the legs down. But it's a, it's a small twist but because we're keeping the armpit down it's a really good stretch in that opposite armpit. And then go to the other side. So we've got our left arm in cactus and our right coming up onto our right fingertips lifting our right shoulder coming into that twist feeling that stretch under the armpit and then coming back to the floor and coming into sphinx so elbows under shoulders so once again lifting through the upper chest feel that you can draw back with your forearms almost as they were drawing back towards you and feel that your chest begins to move forwards your shoulder blades are active behind you and drawing down your back tuck your toes under lift Push through the forearms, lift your hips up, lift everything up other than your knees come up last back into forearm plank. Lower the knees, stretch in puppy pose, tuck the toes under and find your way into downward facing dog, pushing up through the hips. So the hips are high, pushing through the shoulders, so finding some elevation in your shoulders. And just once again exploring that range of movement up and down come into three-legged dog have a play with the hip position so square the hips then lift the hips Coming back into three-legged dog again and then go to the other side play around square hips open the hips square the hips all the time making sure the weight is even through the hands come back into downward facing dog Stepping forwards towards your hands and breathing in, lifting all the way up to the sky. Drawing your hands back to prayer position. Namaste.